Hi, my name is Caroline Dunn. Last week I posted a video where I compared the full-size Amazon Echo to the Amazon Echo Dot. And I showed you five similarities and five differences. Well, this week what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Amazon-made Echoes to my homemade Raspberry Pi Echo. So if you have been watching my channel, a few weeks ago I posted how to make an Amazon Echo from a Raspberry Pi. So this is my Raspberry Pi. This is a project I did. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I will put a link in the description below and then you can see how I did this project. For everybody who completed the project, kudos, congratulations, way to go on building your own Amazon Echo. So now I'm going to compare an Amazon Echo Raspberry Pi to a regular Amazon Echo. I also got a lot of questions about people uh, troubleshooting uh, their project. If you are having issues, there is an issues log, issues tab, issues discussion board, and I will put a link to it in the description field below. It is also linked over from the original video. Um, there's just a myriad of problems, you know, hey, it, doesn't always work. There's so many reasons for these problems and you know me I'm not there. I don't know what your error message is so it's really hard for me to troubleshoot over YouTube so uh, please use your Amazon resources, GitHub resources, the internet in order if you're having some trouble. Now I do want to also mention, uh, first of all, this is not a paid endorsement. I'm not an employee of Amazon. I'm just making these videos on my own. Uh, so I don't really have any pull with Amazon to get them to change stuff for you. Um, I've also had a lot of questions, a couple of questions about integrating some, uh, something you already do with your Raspberry Pi with the Amazon Echo. Um, yes, you can do that. That's a little bit more advanced than what I'm going to go into uh, in the video. So if you really have a lot of questions about that, please contact me on my contact page on my personal website. I'd also like to mention that the Amazon Echo is primarily sold in the U.S. This, this thing. It's primarily sold in the U.S. To my understanding, a few months ago, last fall, Amazon has now released the Echo in the UK, United Kingdom, and Germany. And now there is a German uh, language setting and UK English setting for the Amazon Echo. So if you are having problems uh, with this and you're not in the United States, UK, or Germany, um, there's really very little support for you, unfortunately. Um, the servers are all back here in the US and so some people have had latency problems. It takes a really, you know, the internet's really fast and everything, but if, the, if you're pinging a server all the way here in the US and you're halfway around the world, it might take a little bit longer. Let's start with some obvious differences between the Amazon Echo and the Raspberry Pi Echo. Number one, the Amazon Echo is plug and play. You uh, plug this into your wall outlet and you turn it on and it auto provisions itself and if the power gets cut off or you want to move it to another room unplug it plug it back in it comes right back on really simple uh, the raspberry pi on the other hand uh, every time you uh, turn it on you have to boot up the raspberry pi then you have to open a terminal then you have to run three commands and you have to log into your amazon developer account every time you uh, start this up now, I'm sure you could write a script and try to automate some of the stuff. I uh, am not going to go into how to do that on this video, um, but, I'm, but you also have to have your microphone plugged in and your speaker plugged in. So on the Amazon Echo and even the Dot, there is a built-in speaker. And there are also seven microphones on the top of every Amazon Echo. So this one is just as good as your microphone. So I mean, for me to get my Raspberry Pi to work, I have to talk right into it. Uh, the original project that I did, you had to press a button with a mouse on your screen to get it to wake up. So the new version, if you are able to run all the commands, the third command is the wake word, Alexa. What is two plus three? The sum of two and three is five. So you also see there's a bit of a latency. You have to say her name first, wait for the beep, and then say your command. So that's different from one of these uh, Amazon Echoes. There's hardly any latency. Alexa, 
What is two plus three? The sum of two and three is five. Plus three is equal to three. So it's, you have to say the wake word and then wait for the Raspberry Pi to beep back at you and then say your command. But you can say it all at once with the Amazon Echo. So next, let's talk about Bluetooth and settings. In your companion app, which I'll put a link to below, or in, in it's also an app you can download on your phone, you have settings. And I will show you right now, side by side, the settings that you get with an Amazon Echo versus a homemade Raspberry Pi Echo. So as you can see, there are Bluetooth settings for an Amazon Echo. The, this device has Bluetooth settings. You can hook it up to a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones. Um, while the Raspberry Pi does have Bluetooth capabilities as, uh, as its own device, those are not available in the settings menu on your companion app. And thus, I don't think you can hook up a Bluetooth speaker to your Raspberry Pi Echo. Thus, we use a 3.5 millimeter jack cable for the output of the Raspberry Pi Alexa. So other interesting settings are the language settings. As I said earlier, they just started selling this Amazon Echo in Germany and the UK. That is a setting you can adjust in the Alexa companion app, but it is not a choice in the Raspberry Pi Alexa. Now on the message board, I think it says something to the effect of it will be coming soon. Uh, no time frame, no timeline. Again, I'm not an employee of Amazon, so I have zero insight into that, quite honestly. So now that I've talked about the differences between the Amazon Echo and the Raspberry Pi Echo, let's talk about the similarities. Let's talk about price first. Now, um, this, this dot here retails for about $50, and the kit for the Raspberry Pi retails for about the same price, and then once you buy a microphone or a speaker, then it kind of goes up from there. So to me, in my opinion, it's more economical to buy if, at Echo Dot. Now, if you already had the Raspberry Pi and you're using it for something else, and this is my microphone from another uh, project and the speaker I got as a gift, then it becomes a little more economical at that point. Uh, if you are interested in kind of learning the back end of how artificial intelligence works, this is also, this is a great project. So to me, this is a learning project, a teaching project. If you're just trying to save money on Amazon Echo, just buy the dot for $50. So things that both devices can do. So first of all, um, you can um, do math. So I already showed you the, you know, adding numbers. That's the same. There's a skill store. I've talked about the skill store in my previous videos. Alexa, launch Alphabet Food. Welcome to Alphabet Food. You can ask a question like, what foods start with the letter A? A. Foods that begin with the letter A apple, apple jelly, apple jacks, asparagus, almonds, abalone, anchovies, apricots, artichokes. Smart home things that you set up. There's also another video out there where I show you how to set up a smart home light. This one. So let me start with my regular Alexa here. So another thing, there's no mute button on this thing, so I'm just going to plug it for a second. Alexa, turn tower lamp on. Okay and then my light comes on. So I showed you how to do this in a previous video. Alexa, turn tower lamp off. Okay. So now I'm going to do it with my Raspberry Pi. Alexa, turn tower lamp on. Okay. So it works just like a regular Amazon Echo. Alexa, turn tower lamp off. Okay. So that works great. Timers and alarms work great on this. You can order stuff. Alexa, order wireless mouse. Based on your order history, I found Logitech wireless mouse M320 blue. If you get the music approved, the audio approved through Amazon, which, I, which they did approve mine, um, you can also play music. Uh, through your Raspberry Pi Echo. 
Alexa, play world map. Playing world map. You can also play your music from your library, music from Prime Music if you're a Prime member. You can play iHeartRadio and TuneIn Radio from the Raspberry Pi. So I don't believe Pandora or Spotify are available. Alexa, play Prime Music. Here's a station you might like, Vladimir Ashkenazi. You can also read books with your Raspberry Pi Alexa. Alexa, play Audible. Getting your book from Audible, resuming only time will tell. You can also have it read books to you from your Kindle collection. So I don't think all the books are available and it's not quite the same thing as an Audible, uh, but you can enjoy that as well. So let's show you, and you can do that on your Raspberry Pi Echo. Alexa, play Kindle. Resuming from Kindle, Doubt, Carolyn Auden, book one. So I did get a question about Ift, Ift, Ift would work on the Raspberry Pi Echo. And as far as I can tell, it does. So let's, uh, let's try that now. I've got my phone here. Alexa, trigger, find my phone. Sending that to Ift. And uh, my phone is ringing now. And if I answer it. Alexa attempted to find your phone on January 3rd. So, uh, if the, the, one of the most popular features of if is find my phone, uh, if seems to work as my phone too. So, uh, so yeah, lots of great features on this Raspberry Pi Echo. And, um, I hope you had, for those of you guys who finished this project, congratulations, kudos, way to go. Uh, I think that was really great and I uh, hope you had a lot of fun doing it. I know I had a lot of fun doing it. I learned a lot about artificial intelligence and how it works. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video comparing the Amazon Echo to the Raspberry Pi Echo and please subscribe to my channel.